Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fastball 40 as always. If you're new around here, subscribe down below, click the like button, it's massively appreciated. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers, We've done that in about four months, so I'm very thankful for all the support you guys give me. And as always, if you guys want to watch me do this stuff live, give you guys input and trading tips, make sure you click the link down below and come over to Twitch, which is where I do my live streaming. We're about to partner over there, we've grown massively over there, and yeah, it's, it's just been, it's been mental, and I'm massively thankful for it. But it's massively helpful for you guys to come over there and ask me questions live, direct. And at 6 o'clock every day, we rush invest. We make sort of 100, 200k just rush investing pretty much most days. So if you want to get involved, click the link down below. Further to that, exclamation mark Discord in the chat will get you access to the Discord server. It is completely free to join. You haven't got me subscriber. Got loads of non-subs in there. I massively appreciate them as much as my subscribers. Uh, so join that. It's completely free. Get involved. Uh, we've got over 600 people in there now. It's mental. One final thing to talk about for me is my subscribers over there get access to my trading guides on the Discord. Next week, we will be launching a website in conjunction with V273, who's another brilliant trader over on Twitch. This is going to contain buying and selling prices for icons, special cards, silvers, everything you could possibly want to cover the whole market. Um, and so subscribers on my Twitch are now going to sort of end their subscri subscriptions there and subscribe to the website. It is cheaper than pretty much every single patron out there. And I promise you, we'll make you bank. So if you want to get involved in that, just look out for it. Follow my twi Twitter. Get involved in Twitch and join the Discord. There'll be more details to come. But yeah, this video is basically about how to make coins from Icon Swaps number three. Now, up until now, I have said that Icon Swaps have not been worth it because they haven't been worth it. Uh, this is the first Icon Swaps that I do think is worth it. Uh, there are some very, very good players in here for very let, very cheap coins up or very cheap tokens, I'd say. Living in Trent's are going much of it. Like, I was just a meh, meh. No one really cares about them too much. But Gattuso is a CDM for seven tokens. It's very good. Loudrip, they finally made him usable. Very good for nine. Payol for 9 is brilliant. The Prime Icon Pack for 9 is very, very good. Everyone that watches me on Twitch and knows me knows that I love Mark Overmaster's card. I love it. I love it every year. 5-star week for it. And he's just a beast. He's just, I like the stamina on him. I just, I just love this card. I'll be doing him. It's the only reason why I'm getting involved. This Hullet is an L. A fat L. Lampard W. Pa Paolo is a dub. Kaka is a dub. Kenny is a dub. Ian's a dub. Dennis is a dub. Raquel is an L. Maradon is an L. Uh, Petit is a dub. Calavar is a dub. Alberto is a dub, Grincha and Zidane are both fat L's in my opinion. Grincha not so much, but definitely Zidane. I don't know what they were thinking with this one. It's another Vieira situation. However, what you should be thinking about with this now is how are we going to make coins? Now the first thing that I always think about with this is obviously these icons are going to come onto the market now. People are going to sell them off. So last night we saw some panic selling before people bought up again, I think, going into weekend league because you still need to use these cards. Not everyone's got these cards yet. However, with both the two base icon, the both the two first icon swaps, sorry, we saw a drop-off in the prices of these players the Sunday and Monday after Icon Swaps was released. But then what happened was we saw a climb again into the next weekend league before they, weekend league before they then start to drop off again. So this open for example right now, I'm seeing him at 7.30. I'm thinking if he gets down to 6, 6.20, 6.30, I might buy into him for the chance that he rises back up to about 700k again to the next weekend league. Do I think it's the most meta way of trading right now around Icon Swaps? Not at all, not even remotely. Um, but... I do think that there is something to be said about the icons. If you've got the spare coins, there are ways to buy into them. Litmanum last night, for example, was panic sold. Was selling at 4.30, 4.40, and someone listed at a 3.01, which was absolutely mental. I just missed out on it on stream. I was gutted. But that's something to think about. However, when I think about icon swaps, I think about the one major thing that it does mean is people have to play a lot of games, okay? You have to play a lot of games to play icon swaps. So what does that mean? It means consumables and it means players, okay? Now, the first thing with consumables is a lot of time with consumables, you are selling to lazy buyers, okay? Now, the most important one I want to show you is squad fitnesses. People are going to need squad fitnesses because they're going to be playing a lot of games. Right now, they're selling for 600, 650 if you were just to go on the market and buy them, okay? Like, relatively easily, you can pick these up. Now, I know that, so I do it. But most people are lazy. And I every weekend, without fail, lazy list, my, my squad fitnesses I buy for about 12 to 1,300 coins. Because what I do is I buy maybe... 100 of them, which I have in the club right now, 100 of them. I then list 30 at a time, and I list them all at about 1, 2, 1, 3, and people just on the, in their squad screen see their squad slow, go to buy a consumable, and they just buy it at th that price, and they, just, they don't care. People just don't care. And you will see this happen. So what I would advise you doing is picking up on these at as low as you can, 600, 650 is fine, and I would lazy list them in batches. The thing you have to remember about lazy listing is you're not going to sell every single one of them straight away. It's just not going to happen, Okay. But what you will do is, let's say you have your batch of 30 and you sell three or four, you then relist them again and you relist them again and you've got to be on the ball. But you are doubling your coins. 
Like, whatever coins you put into squad fitnesses, you're nigh on doubling them. Which is, there are very few trading methods in this game that are going to double your coins. But what's effective about this now is once Weekend League is done, normally squad fitnesses sort of stagnate and don't sell as quickly. That's not going to happen this time because what's going to happen is people are now going to leave the leap for finish doing um, their Weekend League matches and they're going to then have to do the Div Rivals matches and then they're going to have to do their squad battles matches. And so you'll still have a steady influx of people wanting to buy the cards. The buys might slow down slightly, but I don't think it'll make a difference. I was doing this during both first two icon swaps. I made absolute bank from it. I'm going to continue to do it. It isn't a difficult way to trade. It's, it's barely even trading through fair. It's just buying them and sending them to lazy buyers. But it is such an effective way to make coins. Anyone in my Discord will tell you the same. It is not difficult at all. So be mindful of that. Pick them up. Make coins. Other things to think about are, firstly, people are going to do SBCs more reg regularly, readily, because of the fact that it helps the first owner cards for their, for their team. So a lot of the rivals gate requirements are first owner teams, okay? So if you're, if you're doing rivals for first owner team, you're going to want to do SBCs. Fodder did see a slight rise last night. People doing that Benega card, I think. So be mindful of that when you're looking at, the, when you're looking at this sort of stuff. There's a lot of first owner stuff. So if it's a card that comes up with relatively cheap and meta, people will do them. It happens every single time, so Fodder can rise. Um, other consumables I'd be thinking about, Hunters and Shadows, always Hunters and Shadows because, again, if you do it SVC, you're going to put Hunter or Shadow on the card, chances are you're going to want to do that. But if you are, if you get a first owner, for example, if you get a first owner Aguero, which I have in my club, which I'm probably going to use for these like, for these icon swaps, I'm probably going to stick a Hunter on him just to bang his pace up so that he's able to compete a bit. They're really effective ways to go as our sort of um, position change cards, the Canter CF, those expensive ones. Best time to buy all these cards in Squad Battle Rewards. I cannot stress it enough. You can pick up great bargains in Squad Battle Rewards every single time without fail. So just be mindful that during Squad Battle Rewards, the market sees a 20 to 30% dip most weekends. You've got to pick up a lot of these cards cheaper. Squad Fitness is a 500. Hunters for less than 6,000 on Xbox. Um, sort of take off sort of 20% on PS. That's what they'll be. And Shadows for about maybe 10,000 on Xbox last week. I was picking them up for selling for 13,000 later on. It's easy coins. But one really effective way that I want to talk to you about trading with icon swaps is going to be the squad battle um, games. Now, you're going to laugh at me when I say this, but I promise you it works every single time. Um, so the online ones, for example, nine first time Premier League players. Th there's not really much to trade with here, in my opinion. However, the single player ones, Samba squad using 11 Brazilian players is meh. Like 11 Brazilian players, there's loads of Brazilians on the game. Maybe some meta ones or some decent ones might grow up in price, but it's not where I'd be looking, looking to place my coins. Japanese players, I would look at this because there are very few very good Japanese players in the game that are available on the market. So I'd be looking at Japanese players. But the ones that I like the most are the Condable squad and I like the Liga NOS squad. Now I'm going to show you now a couple of players you could be looking at. But all you've got to really do is go and look at the players that have got Condable and the teams that have got Condable players. But if you look, for example, we're going to look at Fabra. So this is the Condable guy that I'm looking at right now. Now I don't think the goal, goals carry. We've not, we've not had any confirmation from here yet as well the goals count but the specials definitely do these guys definitely do now this guy is 78 rated people do not know the value of 78 rated cards okay they just don't and they don't realize they've got a value now the reason why i like him as an option is he's got 89 paces a left back all right defending the right physical right passing the right dribbling he is perfectly fine for this for squad battles you don't need to go much more than this but he's been he's been listed all morning i keep seeing him come up all morning. Well, I was recording this video a minute ago. I recorded it initially. I didn't like the video, so I re-recorded it. Um, but he keeps coming up. And I really like him as an option because, again, he's got everything you want for left back that's relatively competitive in a squad battles match. But you can see right now that he's selling for 2800 Compare price back out on him and pick him up. It isn't going to be difficult to pick him up um, relatively easily. People aren't going to be sitting on, the, on these filters. But it's not just Fabra. You have to go to, like, go to like foot, for example, foot. If I go footbin. Footbin. Uh, and what, what's the name of this team? I'm trying to remember the name of them. Buenos Aires. So if you go to like, if you have a look at it, for example, Salvio, for example, right mid for Buenos Aires, 2,400 coins according to this. This is PlayStation prices for you guys, but Salvio, for example, Fabra's expensive. And then what I would do after that is I go, okay, cool. So we've got Buenos Aires. We'll click on like, we'll go to, let's go to uh, League, sorry, quickly. Let's go to Leagues. 
There's an easy way to find them out. So it's the SAF in it. This is what it's called. The Argentinian League. SAF here. And you've got all these guys here. Now, these have all seen a rise. All these um, cards that are for the kickoff players, these also count as part of the combo ball. So they've all seen a rise. Like, Scrocco's up, I think, 5k at the moment. But what you want to do is just have a little look and look at the cards. Like, Lissandro Lopez is at 1,800 on, on play PlayStation at the moment. Um... Press is kind of up. Salvia is definitely up. Andrada for, for 1,300. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this now. And I'm going to go Andrada, for example. Andrada. So like Xbox, you're going to see more of a price rise on, on that. But look. So he's at... Firstly, you can bid on him. And see if you pick him up. I don't think you will. But you can bid on him either way. But again, you can use compare price back out on him. And just see what he does. And see what these cards do. You'll be able to pick him up. If he's, if he's at 1700 at the moment, he'll sell for more. This is going to be massively effective in squad battle rewards. Because the price will come down, but then they'll bounce back again. Without a doubt, they always do. But it's just being mindful of the fact that these cards are going to be needed. And people don't really want to make their life harder. So pick up these players. Try and snap onto them. Try and buy into them. I'll have a Salvio in a second as well. But you can trade with these guys relatively easily. Relatively simplistically. And especially 6 o'clock content drop. Today, if there's packs and stuff like that, they'll come into packs. A lot of these guys will go for discard. Savio, let's have a look at him. What's going on with Savio? Jesus Christ, on, X on Xbox, look at that. 4,900 on Xbox. Now, I don't know if the gold cards count. If you can find that the gold cards count, if the gold cards do count, that could be a great, great player. I don't know if they do, and I don't think they do. But if they do count, then brilliant, get involved in it. But the, this is why the UCL version of this I don't really like, but I like the combable one. Just see what they go for. He's 80 rated, people won't know his value. In the next video, I'll be trading with these guys for the next sort of 24 hours. So in the next video, you'll see me pick them up and how much I pick them up for and how much I send them for. It's an easy way to trade, but just get involved with those. And then Liga Nos. Liga Nos doesn't have that many meta players, but I want to go to the Japanese guy because he covers two birds with one stone. And I wonder if he's gone up in price quite considerably. H-I-J-K-L by Korea. Perfect. <laughs> Tim, my alphabet there. Uh, League, Liga Nos. We'll go across to Liga Nos. I just want to see what he's doing because he's good for two requirements, obviously. So Nakajima, for example, is about 1,500, 1,300 at the moment. Not really seen a massive rise at all. I think you'll see a bigger rise outside of Weekend League. But I know Corona, for example. So he, these are these ones. Let's go gold, because I think he's the only gold one. So right now he's at 1,000 coins. So you can, if you're buying him at basically discard price, you'll be able to get maybe three, 400k profit off him. The one that I've made seem most joy for most people is this, Jesus Corona. I've just sold him for 1,200. He's at 1,300 now. Again, people don't know the price of these guys, so sit there, compare price back out. I'm not going to sit on the whole on the whole time doing it, try and get one of them, but I'm going to pick them up for the next few days just to see what they're doing. But again, bid on them. You'll be able to bid on them. Why is it? What have I done there? Min price. Uh -huh. Max price is what I need. Again, just throw a bid on all of them. Everyone you see here, just throw a bid on. If you know that they're going to be going for 1,200 coins... Just throw bids on them. If you get them for 800, 900 coins, it's 300 coins a card. There's a big amount of profit to be made from these cards. And again, it's a simplistic way to trade without having to worry about spending too many coins and just boosting your coin total up all the time. Uh, I don't want to compare price to them. But you leave them there. If you pick them up, you pick them up. If you don't, you don't. It's not the end of the world. But in my opinion, they're the plays. Squad fitnesses, the Liganos players, the Commonwealth players, they're the plays. And if you've got the spare coins, icons, if you know your market, icons could be a very, very good play. Just to show you, I picked the Hazel Scroll up a minute ago. When I first recorded this, I just didn't really like the video, so that's it. And then these guys as well. I've been pick picking these guys up. They're up in price. If you haven't watched yesterday's video, the sniping filter video yet, go and watch that sniping video, uh, sn sniping filter video from yesterday. There was two sniping filters on there that are absolute fire. They made me 250,000 coins yesterday alone to get involved in those sniping filters. Go back and watch that video. They're absolutely brilliant. But that's going to be the end of the video, lads. As always, if you want to watch me do this stuff live, you want to watch me live, come over to Twitch, click the link down below. Click the link down below to follow my Twitter where you get loads of updates from me. And as always, subscribe if you're new around here. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers now to so get involved. But for now, lads, I'm out. Peace out. I will speak to you soon.